This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit the iniquity. O daughter of Edom, he will discover thy sins. First and foremost, I give all praises, <clears throat> honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, teach us his truth according to the Bible. <coughs> and Hebrew well. I nudge with the one Lord of Sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. And I nudge with the one Lord of Sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, not just hearers of the word, but doers as well, you men, women, and children, and hopeful elect. Shalom. And, um, that's, this, this is uh, impending doom that's awaiting the Edomites. Impending doom. All right. And let's get that real fast. Let's get that real fast. That word impending. I M P E N D. All right. It says occurring or likely to occur, upcoming, impending trials, impending. All right. It says as as the adjective as. Of an event regarded as threatening or significant, about to happen, forthcoming, and what's coming to the nation of Edom, the so called white man, woman, and child, <laughs> is destruction, the curses, what fell upon the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American, is getting ready to befall our enemies, man. And this is something, this is part of the gospel, it's part of the good news. Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelt in the land of Uz. All right, so these Edomites supposed to be in a state of rejoicing. Because the next stop for them is feathers of iron. The man, woman, and the child. Because you got to remember, they didn't show us any mercy. It tells you that in, in Deuteronomy 28th chapter. They didn't uh, regard the, uh, the old or the young, roughly paraphrasing. They show you that in, uh, what is that, um, that movie, man, um, not 12 Years a Slave, but, um, Nat Turner movie. All right, they was working, they were, it was 12 Years a Slave, too. They had the young, the young boy working in the field, all right, and then the, um, the Nat Turner movie, they had what, uh, what they, what they call Big Mama, they worked it to death, man, she was literally rocking in the rocking chair, and died rocking in a rocking chair, man. So these, these devils didn't show no regards for the, the young or the old. But guess what? That cup is going to come back to them. All right? They, they, they should be rejoicing, living it up. All right? And join the, their kingdom while they can. It says, The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. All right. When you're naked, you're revealed. It says the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, the Israelites, the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans. Uh, our, our, our punishment is coming to an end. OK. All the curses that are written within Deuteronomy 28 chapter. Matter of fact, let's, 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 let's just get a couple real fast. Let's just get a couple real fast. All right. 
This is Deuteronomy 28 and um, 37. It says, And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, where the, the Lord have scattered thee, shall, shall lead thee, Slakia. That's right, man. And that's just one curse. We're not going to be an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. The butt of all jokes, niggas, spicks, wetbacks, tomahawks, uh, porch monkeys, all these things that was that we were called. We're not going to be called those things anymore. They're going to be called these things. Okay? <clears throat> it says, jump down to 41. It says, thou shalt begot sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. All that's going to Esau, man. And, look, and these other nations. All right, the Arabs. The Hamites, Chinese, Japanese, and it just is what it is, man. But that 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 main that main heathen, the basis of man, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, and look, yes, and the Spaniards were Edomites, man. The Spaniards, all right, for the for for the Latin tribes, okay, are so-called white people. And they're going into slavery too. And their sons, their daughters are going to be sold. Right? Matter of fact, let's get that. Um, let's get that. Get one piece up on that. Uh. This is um It's not what I was looking for, but I'll take this one. I'll keep looking for it till I find it. This Isaiah 14 and 1 says, For hope for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel, right? Which is the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans by process of elimination. We are those people, man. Alright, we fit the curses and the things that will happen to the children of Israel, man. Alright? It says, and set them in their own land, which is Israel, and, and the strangers shall be joined to them, and they shall cleave, which is the Israelite foreigners, who were, who were scattered into these other nations. But sea line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, shall cleave to the house of Jacob. <clears throat> it says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall be yeah, go, and possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors, man. <clears throat> you see? So we're going to take their children. We're going to take their, 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 their family members. And we're going to what? We're going to sell them. And we're going to own them. We're going to possess them. For what? Slaves. Servants and handmaids. What is that? Those are slaves. All right? And the scripture said is a, is, it is a, a righteous thing <clears throat> to recompense tribulation to those that troubled you. We don't want reparations, all right? We don't want your fake money. Okay? We want you. We want you, your, 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 your mother, your father, your children, your wives, all to be slaves, man. All right? That's true reparations. That's true reparations, man. And look, and after we're done with you, look, after we're done with you, ain't gonna be no more need for you, man. Once you build up our kingdom, all right, there's not gonna be any more need for you, for you uh, Edomites, man. Get tired of looking at you, man. This is the book of Obadiah, <clears throat> chapter 1. Let's see here. Well, I'm going to start. Well, I'm going to start. It's going to be my last one. I mean, oh, man. This is Obadiah 1 and 10. It says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off. Right? So let's jump down. 
get to the point. Um, let's see where we at. I mean, the whole chapter is good, but jumping down to 18, it says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau a stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. And this that has not happened yet, but this will happen. Prophecy has to fulfill itself of these devils going into slavery and serving us double. Serving us double. So what? They're going to serve us a thousand long, drawn out years. And then guess what? They're going to be eradicated off the face of the earth, man. And rightfully so. And rightfully so, man. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. You see? That's one of the main reasons why the Lord is going to delete the, the, the nation of Edom, man. So rejoice, live it up, be glad, do your cocaine lines, all right, do all the wickedness that you're going to do. Do what you're going to do so we can so we can be next up, man. Go ahead and do what the hell you're going to do, Esau. All right? Because the next stop for you, matter of fact, let's get that. Let's end it off on that revelation. Let's end it off on that revelation. Let's end off on that revelation. This book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9, says, If any man have an ear to hear, let him hear. See? Spiritually. If you can understand these deep, dark sayings, these parables, what the, what the scripture is saying. Because we can read this and a lot of our people won't get this. They won't understand it. All right? It says, Verse 10, Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. How hard is that to understand? Those that led us into captivity. We all know the so-called white man was at the, at, 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 the, um, at the top of the list. Right? Those uh, small hats funded the slave ships, man. The first, one of the first slave ships was good ship Jesus. And like the apostle uh, to Harlot said, you bird brain Negroes, all right, and you Latins and you Native Americans, so-called, calling that name to this very day, man. Anyways, Revelation 13 and 10, it says, he that leave in the captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill up with the sword must, not maybe, must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith for the saints and the saints of the Israelites, man. Psalms 148. Um, verse 14. So recompense is coming for the for 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 uh for uh Esau man, the nation of Edom. Alright. Shalom.